Okay, see if I can get my head in this film here. This is about the solid electrolyte and the new concrete batteries, which are basically solid as well. They've been running this pulse motor for quite a while. <clears throat> and you can see how strong this pulse motor is going. So what we'll do, I'll show you how we did it. We'll get electrical information about this too. Okay, let's get some voltage readings on this. <clears throat> I haven't added any kind of water to this uh, solid electrolyte. So let's check this out. Uh, negative and positive. Okay, 1.1 1. 1. 1. Seven and okay, it's been that way for about a year. Let's add a little water, see what happens. <laughs> I have water in an Elmer's glue bottle. Okay, Let's see if there's any change. 1.23, Let's give it a minute and see what happens. Okay, let's check out the voltage on the, this right here, these two. This swings and tries to move itself across the table here. <clears throat> Let's see. All right, so I'm going to check out the concrete, the solid concrete battery. All right, let's see, which one is negative? I think the zinc is negative. Let's see. I say one volt on that one. I guess it'd be the same. Let's see. Let's see, zinc down here, that's negative, and this is positive let's see 1.8 okay two of these in series give me um, 1.8 volts that's what's driving this pulse motor um, so okay let's see what this fire starter part has gone up to 1.32 Okay, all right, now let's find out how much current there is. This is a microamp meter. Let's start with that in case there's not a whole lot in there. Let's see. Plug this up. Let's see which one's which. Okay, there's over 100 microamps running through that. Well, we know there's a lot more than this, so let me go get that. The amp meter. And we'll check that out. We know we'll get the milli. Okay. Oh, wow. Most in everything. <clears throat> Sorry about not getting the microamp meter in the picture, but there wasn't a lot to it. It just pegged it over, so there wasn't a lot to see. Um, so what we're going to do is hook up the milliamp meter. Let's see. That's with the pulse motor going. <clears throat> I wonder if it'll make a difference, but we'll see all right so i'm gonna plug this into the to the negative side and let's see doing this right here let's this negative. okay so 
Let's just do this. Get too many wires, can't tell what's going on. Alright, so you got this one right here. Plug that in right there. Let's see what we got. Okay, it looks like, I don't know if you, you noticed, but it moved up. It moved up probably, let's see, these are increments of, let's see, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, these are increments of um, 20. So it moved at least, let's see, eh, five, could be eight. It's, not, it's close to half, but I, w I would give it more of a five or an eight milliamps. So that's pretty good, five or eight milliamps coming off of the, just these two little things here. One good thing about this pulse motor is the circuit inside does have a capacitor, which allows it to keep running for a little while. Let's see, this goes, okay. Yeah. Let's see, that goes there, I think. Positive, negative, positive goes to this. This goes, okay, that's set up. Okay, good. All right. So basically, these little squares here concrete solid as can be are with just a little bit of water will give you about um, eight milliamps five to eight milliamps which is really good because as you can see this pulse motor is is really i mean it's rocking <clears throat> this thing will actually move itself off the table if i don't put something there to keep it from moving so I usually stick something like this on here. You can see it just rocks away. All right, now, um, I'll show you how to make, or what I made the solid electrolyte out of. I showed you how to do the cement, uh, to, uh, concrete batteries, and so I'll show you this. And then I'll also show you later on in another video, these stacked up. We'll see how well they do when, when you stack them up. We know they work in series and they give you more voltage, but I'm gonna see how much current can be passed through it. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna take a little more water uh, so that we can have a, a little bit of electron flow, but we'll see. And you can see right there. So I also might need to build a better pulse motor so that I can run these things off of. Uh, I could charge, well, let's say if I, if I made a brick out of these things, then I could charge it up with solar power or some other form. Um, and, uh, oh, that's another thing. They do charge up. Uh, it's a concrete battery that does charge up. I'll, I'll show you that too. Um, what I'll do is I'll charge it up and then I'll bring it over here and you'll see the voltage difference. Okay, let me do, let me do that and get right back. Okay, uh, I just charged this one up to uh, for about 15 seconds. And I have a little pole, uh, motor here, little drone motor, and I'm going to run that. Let's see what it does. So you can see it's running the motor. <laughs> That's quite a bit of current. Let's see what happens. Let's see what, what's left over. I can charge it up and get a little more. <clears throat> see about how much more power there is in there. Let's see. As you can see, let's see, you're looking at about 20 milliamps right there. All right, that's 15 second charge. Let me go charge it up a little bit longer. We'll check out the uh, current.
current. Let's see how much it's increased. Let's see. I made a mistake. I didn't add one of the elements that we put into the concrete battery. The black material that you see there is uh, activated charcoal. Um, so with activated charcoal, I, I mixed with a little bit of graphite, all right, just to give it a little more conductivity. All right, and then what I did was I put it on the side of the um, graph oil, and there there is a separator in here as well. I didn't mention that. So there there is the <coughs> cement. Then you have a layer of uh, graph uh, graphite and activated charcoal mixed together. And then that's before it, it touches the graph oil. All right. And it seems to work much better that way. Um, all right. I have another. Um, okay. I charged this up. For about three or four minutes and let's see how much current there is well it's up to 20 milliamps you see that it's up to 20 milliamps okay so let's see this comes from the positive it goes to the negative and there we go. There it goes. Wham, bam. <clears throat> and with a fresh charge on this, uh, oh, let's check the voltage out too. Get this over here. Hope this can be seen. Let me check and make sure it can be seen. Yeah, maybe. All right. Let's see, can it be seen? I don't know. Let's see. Can you see that? Maybe you can. All right. Let's see what the voltage is. See, no, negative, positive, 2.256, 2 2.2, 2. well, anyway. It's over two volts. Okay, let's try this again. Um, I'm going to give you some information about the um, solid electrolyte. Um, here's what it looks like. Let's see if I can get that in the picture. Something like that. All right. Um, the solid electrolyte, I made it by cooking it. First of all, the majority of it is made from water glass. I made this the regular way to make water glass. And I cooked it uh, quite a long time. And it's been sitting for quite a long time. And it, it, it's very strong. Um, then, so what I did was I cooked it down 
along with uh, the graphite. I took natural graphite. This is uh, something that you got, you've got to have uh, for the conductivity. Um, so you play around with the graphite, uh, the quantity, so that you can get the what you know the kind of uh, um, conductivity that you'd like in in this. Um, sometimes um, you know it depends on how it cooks down. <clears throat> if you put too much of this in there, your your conductivity might not be as good. So you have to cook it, and you have to add to it and uh, uh, test it. It's just like <laughs> if you test candy, you know, is it done? You know that kind of thing. Um, I did take and exfoliate some graphite and took it down from that uh, and used the, uh, the method where, where you, you heat it up and it makes these little fluffy little things and I added that in with it so that it, it, it creates that. <clears throat> um, I had a lot of um, graphite graphene uh, water that was laying around as well where I had been uh, exfoliating and, and making things with it and putting it in ball mill and trying to get it uh, uh, further processed down into like an ink and I put some of that in here so it, it was extremely conductive inside there and then <clears throat> along with the um, the water glass uh, it worked very well. Uh, as you can see, uh, this this is running off the uh, concrete batteries, but this right here, it's just a small sliver of that under there. And this is a year old, and it still runs. It still you, you saw the power that it gets out of that, <clears throat> but that's basically it for this it's extremely easy to make this